Well, that's a very, very good morning from Spiz HQ. The eggs are boiling, the bacon is grilling, the coffee is percolating, the sun is shining, the papers have arrived. What more in life could you want? I'm on holiday. It's a lovely day outside. So where will I go today? I don't really know. Anyway, stay tuned. Well, I don't know what's happened to the lovely summer day, but all of a sudden, the Scottish mystical mist, which we call Ha, has suddenly descended upon us. So, I'm going to be heading inland now. I was heading towards the sort of the water and the, the rivers, but it's just not worth it. You can't see a thing when you get there. So I'm going to head inland now, try and find an old abandoned house and golf course. Um, and today we have a bit of... Oh, what do we have today? We're listening to a bit of Baby Shambles. There he is. A bit of Baby Shambles. So, let's head into the mist. Crikey. Take a look at the mist, man. There is Letham Grange House. Now, I think I made a bit of a blunder because I thought this was uh, abandoned and derelict. But there's lots of golf buggies and there's lots of golfists around today, so it looks like going to have to be a bit quiet and uh, ninja-like for this one. So let's hope we can find some sort of spitz things to look at. Well, as you can see, it's very derelict around the back. But right here, I found a ducot. That's just your average kind of ducot. Um, I went into it, but I couldn't see anything. It was a bit manky inside as well, so still. It's a find, that'll do. Now this is Letham House. It's the uh, sort of clubhouse of the golf course. Now, this went into disrepair uh, a while back and somebody took it over and then abandoned it again. This is a Korean chap. And uh, it, it lay abandoned for ages. And the course had to get taken over by the members to save the place. Inside you can see it's just a deserted it's like an old greenhouse. It's like something out of the future planet of the apes, isn't it? Yeah, so I thought this place was actually uh, abandoned, but there's not. There's lots of activity here. There's some golfists whacking their little white balls around the place, and there's guys on sort of lawnmowers. Uh, as I was telling you, this place uh, I think it was around about 2003 or something, uh, went into liquidation. You can see the, the hotel and the clubhouse behind me is still uh, empty. So what the locals did was they all clubbed together and they kind of like bought the place out and they just used it themselves. But I think just recently it might have been uh, getting back to normal again. Let's hope so because it's a lovely course. I've played here myself in the good old days when I was a, a sports person, yes. Uh, lovely a couple of courses here. There's the Glens um, and Letham Grange itself. I can't actually remember the name of the other ones, but lovely course. A lot of women play golf here as well. Mm. Oh, lady, what's happened to you? Oh, dear. Well, this is the front of the building. It used to be so grand. A couple of lions there. What's happened to them? They've turned red. That must be the. They must have made a sandstone, and the the white stuff's coming off them. What are you smiling at? Oh, here's a bit of excitement. Look, I found an old abandoned kind of building. Let's see what it is. Right, well, I'm not actually sure what this is supposed to be. It looks like it's uh, something getting done up anyway, so we'll go in. And see what we can see. Well, unfortunately, it wasn't very exciting there. It's obviously an old building that's getting done up, but uh, I think it's been an old stables. Or I thought it might have been something to do with trains, because there's another one over there with a similar thing, but no. I don't think a railway came this way, so I definitely think it's an old stable or an old house that's been trying to get done up. Anyway, not very exciting, I'm afraid. Sorry. Well, this looks a bit more promising. Walled garden, fir hills and Aiken Den. 
over there somewhere. There's that old building I was at. So well, we're just going to go strolling down that path there. See if we can find these walled gardens. Well, this has turned out to be a right disaster. It says strictly no admittance and walled garden is actually the name of this sort of cul-de-sac place. So this is called Walled Garden. So there you go, look. So that's a bit of a disaster. Another lady. And that uh, house there, it's very strange. I just went round the back there. It seems to be abandoned. And I had to look in the windows. Doesn't seem to be any activity at all. Just everything looks so derelict. Hmm, weird. Now, if any of you urbexes out there are watching, yes, you know who I mean, there is a way into this building. It's just round the back here, look. That window is open. It's been smashed, so a small person, or thin person, or even just a normal person could probably crawl through there. There's also another way in that I've, uh, that I've discovered. Via cellar. That actually opens. I've opened that and had a look in there. Don't know where it leads, but you can get down there. And then, so there are ways in to this building for you urbexers. Be well worth a look inside there. Well, folks, dreadfully sorry about that. That turned into a real disappointment there. The weather's closed in. There was nothing to see today. So it just goes to show you can't always have it your own way. However, I will not be disheartened. Actually, I will. <laughs> I've failed my public today. Ah oh well, never mind. Cup of tea's good though. I'm missing bro. I haven't seen bro for a week or two now, but I will see him tomorrow. We are going to head up somewhere tomorrow. He's on a day off. Um, right, I'm going to head home now. And uh, you never know, there might be something that catches the corner of my eye as I just go by. You never know. So, until next time, thank you for watching, as always. Spiz out. Well, this is very poor indeed. I have returned to the scene of one of Spiz's adventures last year. I'm at St Fidgeon's now, so I've come back to this old graveyard because we didn't have a proper look at it last time. So, to try and redeem myself on today's pathetic Spiz, I'm going looking for some interesting and old gravestones. And right away, I found a few. And of course, right against the wall, as I told you in my last videos, I like to look against the walls. There's loads of them along the back wall here, excellent. Go a nice one. Are. There's lots of sort of Pictish knots and whirls in it. It's very nice. I like that one. Yeah, very good. Lovely stained glass window and we have the secret door which belongs to... You've guessed it folks. It's the boiler room. A little row of cottages here. I think that's where the St. Pigeon Pictish stone is in there. Look at those, lovely. Little row of cottages there. Excellent. Well, look at this. I found the Museum of Carved Stones. Well, look at this. Scandalous. £4.50 to get in. Oh, for heaven's sake. Actually in the middle of our broth now and I'm looking for a very famous house in the middle of our broth and I have found it. It's just right here and as you can see there's the uh, bedroom with the shabby bedroom curtains. We have a garage below. Hang on till I turn this camera on so you can see. That is the sitting room. That's the sitting room and here we have the gates to the uh, luxurious pad that belongs to this mysterious person. We're getting closer now and closer. I wonder who lives in a house like this. Crikey, who's that? It's my brother. It's Bro's house. Excellent. 